Marcus Lowe, uh, what, how would you describe the issue of, of interoperability or some of the problems in determining whether or not a text is actually accessible? Um, so, there are lots of different forms of accessibility. Um, so it's one thing to have an accessible Kindle book that can be read out loud. It's quite different to have the book in, as an audio book um, or an iBook. All those different kinds of books work differently. So you have different levels of interaction with the text, um, which determines how useful that is to you. So a good example was uh, I recently read a book um, it's called Reputation and Power. It's about the Food and Drug Administration in the U.S. Um, and I need to understand these issues for, for the work that I do in healthcare. Um, so it's an important book that allows me to compete with um, normally sighted people. So it's important for me to read it. I could only get it in one accessible format. Um, which was, I bought the book through Kobo, which is an online retailer, and it was as an EPUB, um, that's the format. And the only way I could read it was full pages at a time. So I literally press the next page button and it will start reading from the top, and then at the bottom of every page there'd be about four or five references, and it would read all those references and then go to the next page. So there was no flow to the reading, and because of that, it's very hard to quote from it because you know you can't read by paragraph or sentence or anything like that. So I think that's a good example of a book that might, you know, some people would call that an accessible book, but it's it's really not good enough. Um, it doesn't allow me to read the book in in a meaningful way, to quote from it, or to uh, follow up the references. It makes that extremely hard. So you know, if we get a, want a treaty that actually makes a difference, um, you know, that makes my life easier and the lives of millions of other blind people, you know, that can't be good enough. That level of accessibility that only allows you to read full pages or whatever can't be good enough. We need um, format, we need the book to be available in all formats. Um, so the other kind of key thing about that is that different people have different needs. So one kind of accessible book might be fine if you're uh, more of a lay reader. Um, if you're partially sighted, you can maybe get away with reading very large print. Um, if you're doing academic work, you really want to be able to see the references and skip around in the text and search for words. And, things like that. So we need um, the definition of what an accessible text is to be incorporate all of that. It has to be um, a text that can be read in all these different ways. It can't just be a Kindle book. And that's, so that's, that's a big issue of commercial availability. Is, is the treaty going to put us in a situation where if the book's available on Kindle, then we're not allowed to distribute that book um, through the treaty mechanism. And that would be that wouldn't help us much. Um, so yeah, I think interoperability is a is a key issue, absolutely. And without it, um, the treaty would be extremely limited in, in what we can get out of it. Thank you, Marcus.